My name's Garth Maker. I'm the Senior Lecturer in Biochemistry here in the Discipline of Medical, Molecular and Forensic Sciences. I have a PhD in Biochemistry as well as a Bachelor of Science. My teaching areas are Biochemistry and also Toxicology and that's very much my research area. My research area is in the space of herbal medicines and dietary supplements and I'm interested in the quality and safety of those products in helping consumers and health professionals to understand the best most efficient ways to use these products. So in our discipline the standard Bachelor of Science is three years and that allows you to complete one or two majors in biomedical science, forensic biology and toxicology, genetics and molecular biology or clinical laboratory science. We've also got a couple of specialised uh, courses. So we have the Bachelor of Laboratory Medicine, which is a four-year course, and the Bachelor of Food Science and Nutrition, which is also a three-year course. So you can see we've got a lot of flexibility that allows you to mix and match not just those majors, but we've also got a suite of minors, things like pharmacology and, uh, and, and statistics and computer forensics, things you can combine together to give you the, the course that you want to complete. So if you want a career in medical research, combining biomedical science with genetics and molecular biology gives you the understanding of the human body and all the cutting edge tools we use in modern research. In terms of forensic biology and toxicology, our most popular course is the combined degree with the Bachelor of Criminology, and that allows you to complete a Bachelor of Science and a Bachelor of Criminology in four years, which is obviously a very powerful combination. So Murdoch has a real advantage in terms of being at the cutting edge of the science that underlies these undergraduate courses, and we have a very strong focus on practical skills. So we want you in the lab from the, your first semester of studies through to your last semester, and we want you to develop those skills that we know that both industry employers and academic employers are looking for in our graduates. So we make sure you do the lab skills, the data handling skills, all those things that we know we would want to see in an employee and that our, uh, our employers of our graduates are also looking for. We're very much focused on making sure that you have the skills you need to succeed, not just in a specific career, but in a range of scientific careers. And for that reason, the skills we develop are designed to enable you to walk into almost any job and start on day one. So as we've seen this year, science has become one of the most important aspects of human society because our society has been challenged by a pandemic and we've seen that an good understanding of science and medicine and how we can advance that to the betterment of, of our society is going to be absolutely crucial to restoring some sort of normality to, to our lives. So this is a very exciting time to be at the forefront of medical science because it means that you can have that contribution to the next generation of medicine and drugs and human health. One of the things I really would like to have known before I started studying is, is how flexible a scientific career can be. I started studying marine biology and I expected that I was going to work in marine biology. It was only later on that I discovered actually once you've got a Bachelor of Science, you can work in a range of different areas. There's always opportunities to pick up new skills and, and allow you to work in different fields of science. So it's a, a very, very flexible career that gives you lots of different opportunities. And that's what we really want here. We want to train you for an entire career, not just for a specific job. A lot of people say, oh, I'm not smart enough to do a career in science, I'm not good enough. And I would say that science is for everybody. Science affects the entire human race and there are lots and lots of different ways to engage in science. And we've had students who've come in with that sort of lack of confidence and have gone on to excel in their scientific careers, completed PhDs and now work as leading researchers in different labs around the world. So I would say that uh, if you come to university and you're studying something that you're passionate about, you will find that you'll develop the confidence, you'll develop the skills to really follow your passion. And that's what the academic staff at the university are there for as well, to help you make sure that you can follow your dreams. I love my job for two reasons really. I love communicating my passion for science in general and biochemistry in particular with students and helping them to understand the importance of this area of science. And I also love the research that we do and being able to make that contribution to helping people better understand the supplements and herbal products that they want to use so they can make informed choices for their own health.